Some years ago, my wife and I, we went to one African country and uh, we were going to hold a crusade, Holy Ghost service there. And we, we said we would love to say hello to the president if, if he wants. And uh, they said, ah, he says you can come. But maximum, 50 minutes, that's all. I said, that's more than enough. We got there. Ah, pastor, I've heard about you. You're most welcome to my country, etc., etc. Then he began to talk. 50 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour. And it's very difficult to say to <laughs> a president, <laughs> Your Excellency. <laughs> when it was going to two hours, I had to say, I'm sorry, sir, but uh, your people are waiting in the stadium. He said, let them wait. He said, they have people they can talk to. They have friends. I said, I, I have no one I can talk to. And I don't know when you will be here again. Let me tell you all I have to say. Finally, almost three hours later, we finally <laughs> managed to come to pray. On our way back to the car, I said to my wife, who am I but for Jesus? The son of a farmer, so poor that poor people called him poor, from a village that only recently, only recently, when I wanted to go home uh, by helicopter, I, the, the pilots looked at the map of Nigeria, and they couldn't find my village. <laughs> and things are different now, I mean. <laughs> They, uh, they've already put it on the map now. <laughs> but the point I'm making is this. Standing before you is the son of a nobody. Himself a nobody. Born in a place that was unknown. But he met Jesus. And that changed everything. If there is someone here who wants to be going higher day by day, let me hear you shout Jesus. Jesus.